What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Welcome to Dairy. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about Harry Potter and this TV show that's now being confirmed. And then we'll round it out by talking about the Conjuring Universe and its own upcoming series that has been confirmed. Now, just start off with Harry Potter. Harry Potter is officially coming to the small screen in a shocking 10 year plan that was revealed today during the announcement of the merged streaming service named Max, an awful title if you ask me. J.K. Rowling will executive produce. A new cast will be involved in each season will tackle the seven books from Rowling. Now, Rowling, of course, is wanting this to be a more faithful adaptation of her work. And I will say, while I can again see the potential here, I am concerned about how much worse this could also be too. To be honest, it's hard to convince me that this show isn't being done in some degree simply because Cursed Child was hard to convince Emma and Dan to commit to because they do not like J.K. Rowling. They do not like her stances on things. They do not want to associate themselves with her. I'm certain that is why. And Jeff Snyder has said Hermione in the upcoming series potentially will be race swapped, possibly in this upcoming show. I mean, a lot of this might just be petty tactics to say, hey, Dan and Emma, we don't need you. An entire universe that's out here to explore and we decide to start from scratch once again. I see the potential. I do. I said it the very first time I saw this announcement about it. Some part of this just might be genuinely for petty reasons. And because the Cursed Child movie can't happen if Emma and Dan do not want to work with J.K. Rowling. They don't have to work with her, but you also at the same time don't have to immediately do this. There is so much you can still explore in this universe. You can still do something like this, but when people are clamoring for fresh ideas in this universe and you do this, that's why a lot of people are turned off by it already. This can still be a great show, don't get me wrong. A lot of it also might just be rooted in pettiness. <laughs> Let's just be serious. So jumping into Welcome to Dairy, Welcome to Dairy is coming to Max in 2024. This was announced today as well. We know that Taylor Page, Giovanna Depo, Chris Chalk, and James Ramar, as well as the now likely return of Bill Skarsgård, will all be involved in the series as far as starring in it. It will be a prequel to Andy Muschietti's two films based on King's classic, no classic novel. It Chapter 1 we know dropped in 2017, while Chapter 2 released in 2019, following our Losers Club all grown up and back in Derry, Maine to stop Pennywise once again after waking up from its slumber. Now, thanks to K and Production Weekly, I have some plot specifics that were once rumors now confirmed to be relevant to the upcoming show. Set in the 1960s, four kids in a town bordering an Air Force base with a mysterious special projects bunker search for a friend of theirs who disappeared mysteriously. And I get that this sounds like Stranger Things, but keep in mind, it is one of the many things that inspired a show like Stranger Things. So if anything, Stranger Things is like it. Yes, the influence of the series is all over the 2017 film, and I cannot deny that the influence of Stranger Things is probably going to be prevalent in this upcoming Welcome to Dairy show. But the story of it in general is older than that show. I'm excited for this show and I cannot wait to do recaps on it. I plan to do recaps on this on this channel. It's coming next year, so I'll also do beyond recaps, you know, just the standard review of the show if I get to see it early. And again, I'll do the weekly recaps if they do the weekly release format, because they could, of course, drop this all at once if they decide to. But are you guys looking forward to Welcome to Dairy? What do you think about these plot specifics that you may have already known about? Because again, they have actually been rumored for some time that they wanted to create their own new Losers Club. And it looks like that's what we're doing. Could these stars that were already announced be associated with the new losers club again could they be their parents or could they be in some way the new loser club all grown up later on even though this this series is supposed to be taking place prior to the events of the first two movies they're most likely that they're the parents of the new losers diving into scream 7 Scream 7 might have new directors if Radio Silence's new commitment to an untitled Universal Monster film keeps them away from the inevitable sequel. I've already touched on this in another video. However, going on to just talk about it once more. Rumors have led us to expect that filming of Scream 7 could start later this fall. That came from viewer non. But this untitled film that they are doing for Universal could begin filming this summer or even sooner or it could actually start shooting sometime later. There's yet to be an actual flat out confirmation that the creative team is switching. But the evidence just keep it keeps piling and piling. And I personally don't think that they'll be back. I don't think they'll be returning. 
One of the writers has talked about loving new blood and then Radio Silence has more than once said they'd like to see more screen movies even if they aren't involved. So time will just tell if that will be the case. If we won't have Guy Busick or James Vanderbilt involved, if we won't have the directors involved. However, the way things have been progressing, I at least would have thought that Guy and James were sticking around. I think those two at least will stick. But if we have completely new writers, I will be shocked. Now, how would you guys feel about a James Wan directed screen film? That's something to me that I think could be quite interesting. Killjoy Jake actually proposed a very intriguing idea. Shout out to you. What if Christopher Landon and Michael Kennedy collaborate once again, but this time, of course, is for the final entry to the Carpenter Sisters Scream trilogy? I think that would be pretty cool as well. It's really just a matter of do Paramount and Spyglass want to wait on the current creative to finish the other things they want to work on, or do they want to get another Scream movie out very fast? Because again while we're learning this through the the media releases that are coming out paramount spyglass and radio silence definitely have already talked about this why haven't we gotten an announcement about scream 7 yet there, that's something that's probably already been in the works because they know that these guys want to do other projects they could be trying to find new directors and a new creative team as we speak or again they could all be in agreement to wait for them and they'll do scream 7 when radio silence is ready now lastly i want to round out this video by talking about the conjuring the Conjuring is getting its own TV show that will continue the stories from the film franchise. So could the Crooked Man finally have another opportunity to thrive? That was the first thing I thought of because I know the Crooked Man was something that many people were waiting for. Then it was officially announced to be dead. But this could actually revive the chances of a story surrounding the Crooked Man actually now happening in a television format for one season i would hope too i'm just imagining a tv show that possibly is set up from the events of the conjuring 4 where we can have each season focusing on a character we've already met one season for annabelle uh one season for the nun something for the crooked man you know you have all these questions surrounding it will vera and patrick Var will vera farmiga i should say and patrick wilson get to appear in the show just in what ways will this continue on from the movies because that detail really made me curious the fact that it's going to be basically a continuation of what we've already been getting we don't have to worry about the universe dying but it seems it will thrive on the small screen if it is able to be successful of course i'm excited i'm excited to see where this show goes you guys can let me know if you're excited about it or not down in the comments section below what part of this in this video were you most intrigued or excited to hear if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video